Hi, I'm going to give you a rundown today of where you can find different things um, in Infinite Campus now that we've gone to the, the complete new version. Um, right now what you can see on my screen is the old version of Infinite Campus. Essentially it's where we used to be able to access the gradebook, the old gradebook. Um, since the updates that we've taken on, you'll notice that the, that a lot of the old things are missing. Um, the, you should used to be able to get your grade book and everything here. So I'm just going to overview with you a couple of the things you can still find there. Um, in this section is now called Campus Tools. Um, the biggest component I think that I use it for is to be able to search students so this is still accessible for you um, and so when you search those students you can then look at their grades you can look at uh, different aspects just like before um, there's the contact log so that you can um, add in whenever you contact parents and and so forth um, so this is the big one that's still in Campus Tools. Uh, the other item that I, you know, that you might also need to use here is the Behavior Referral Tool. Um, and this is where you would still access that. Um, for our middle school and high school teachers, uh, there's the Missing Assignment Report. So this is an extra data tool, oh, and mine's not working right now, but this is an extra data tool that we can use to help filter on our students to get missing or late work. Okay, so I will um, try and send out information to those of you that would like it later on. Um, the other portion here that you would want to use is the sent message log, and on this, this function, if you've never used it, you can just click here and you can find all the messages that you have sent out. I'll just go from November 2nd and this catalogs all of your sent message logs and you can go back to it if ever there's an issue with a parent or wondering if you contacted someone. Okay, And so this is just a data collection tool. So basically that's all that's left here on Campus Tools, but the search button, like I said, is a huge component of that. All right. Um, so if you had not been using the gradebook, if you're in elementary school, and this is not something that you utilize very often, you're probably surprised at um, some of the things that are here or you're uncertain of where to go. So um, up here by this logout screen is a, it looks like a little phone pad, and this is where you can transfer between um, campus tools, which is what we're in right here, the old version, the gradebook area, or the, it's not the gradebook anymore, but it's the old, old area where you used to be able to go. And, um, here is where you can get to the new gradebook. It's called Campus Instruction now. And so when you click that, that's your, your way to move back and forth between these two. If you'll notice up here, Campus Tools is where we were at. So if you ever need to go back and search a student, you can just click there and go back and access those tools. Now, if, you, if your gradebook or if your Infinite Campus opened to Campus Tools, which is what we were just on, I would suggest that you um, pull your screen down here and go to Account Settings. And on Account Settings now, you can um, put in your preferences for what you want because with a new gradebook, um, the settings you would have used for the old gradebook no longer exist. So you have to, to use these. Um, one that's one thing that I would suggest that you do is go ahead and set your default page to open up on campus instruction. And that way when you want to access your gradebook you don't have to um, click on this and go back and forth. Um, the other thing that will definitely affect you if you're 
getting students in and having students leave as much as um, we are is to click the, the button for show active students only and that will pull out any dropped students that you have in your gradebook. Um, I also like to use that student picture and I use my seating chart for attendance so those are options that you could use and once you change that then go ahead and hit save. Okay, um, some other items on here now that you will see is that uh, we have the message center. Um, this is where you'll do send any teacher messages, and I'll I'll do a quick video about that in a minute. Um, your planner is here, uh, which you had access to before, and I will do a quick video later for that. Um, you also have uh, your grade book, your attendance, your roster, um, seating charts, student groups. Okay, so about everything that you would need has now been condensed and is located on beta instruction or the campus instruction. So um, I'm going to go ahead and stop for this video. This is basically just to kind of get you oriented on where you're supposed to go.